So here we are at the Shiwa manufacturing plant for Mitutoyo, and we're super stoked because not only do we get to show you some amazing manufacturing, but we also get to run the cameras ourselves. Ooh, I don't know if I can work this thing. I guess all of the camera guys are going to be out of a job after this. Who needs them? Yeah, who needs them? I was just kidding. I need you. I'm not. <laughs> This is pretty cool actually. So they actually have the robot loading the machine, machining the part, it's gonna pull it out, it's gonna bring it over, put it on the CMM, and then actually check it right there. My star 555. These are the different frames the robot is checking. So you have from the smallest size here to the biggest size. One of the cool things that you might know about the MyStar 555 is that it can inspect in extremely dirty, uh, unclean situations, right? And as you can see right here, we have oil all over the table from this machining cell, and here it is still doing its thing day in, day out. Here we got fixturing up the wall of the machine. Fixture here, fixture here, fixture everywhere. All right, we are walking, ooh, that's cool. Rotating. Oh, look at that. It's like a mini VTL, at least the turret. Did you know in the Gokara plant, Mitutoyo actually creates their own molds and they do all the castings for their micrometers. Here you can see they have the cauldron, they've heated everything up, and now they're pouring this liquid iron into the castings, creating that rigid body of the micrometer that we all know and love. This melted iron is no joke. You can see these guys are dressed for very extreme conditions because of how hot it gets in here. They're actually loading up this fixture. It looks kind of like a tombstone, right? They're loading a couple of micrometer bodies on, and they're gonna run them in this machine center. It looks like we have one, two, three, four, from what I can see. We're entering in, I believe it looks like painting, which you wouldn't think is kind of cool, but it's like a, we got like a Christmas tree of micrometers here. Look at like ornaments. You can see the machine, the micrometers are getting fed down the line and rows of them are getting painted at once. It's pretty cool. And here we have the infamous Pat Harkness What's in his up, natural everyone? environment. How you doing? I got my hat on, it's toil hat. Let's do this. Yes. <laughs> Let's see what's through these doors. You can see some more automation and action. Right, we have over here, we have another automated cell right behind me. Looks like some sort of machining center. You can see, oh, look at that, that's pretty cool. Picking up all these different bodies and loading them in the machine. Mitutoyo parts on a Mitutoyo CMM. Here again, we have quality matters, right? So you can see that they have their own CMMs on the shop floor inspecting what appears to be a whole test body right here. Every step of the way gets checked. Every step of the way, quality matters. Uh, rows and rows of micrometers all lined up there. And no matter where you go, you're going to see the best of the best. And what do we have down here? Where is it? Where is it? Where? Oh, 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 oh Blazer. There you are. Good to see you, old friend. So I think maybe, just maybe, we might have found the turning center given away by all of those bar feeders. That's production running day, night, all the time, seven days a week. Got a lot of lathes, a lot of bar feeders. This is pretty cool. We have a bar feeder set up behind me here. We have a lay, the turning center. It's machining the spindles for the micrometers. It's gonna drop it down right here. It's gonna pick it up. Now it's gonna go ahead and inspect it right there. Inline inspection, make sure we're good. Results are being tracked right up there. Oh, I heard it click. We're good, measurement recorded. And while it was checking that one, it just dropped another one down in there. That's continuous manufacturing right there. It's a lot of machines, a lot of bar feeders, a lot of automation. Bringing the material in, machining the spindles, inspecting the spindles row after row. I'm not sure how many spindles we put out a day, but it seems to be quite a bit. Looks like we got heat treating in this area. 
These parts are going to be getting heat treated for about eight hours. They load up these spindles, they put it in this conveyor system, and it moves down from process to process, making sure that that spindle and that micrometer is hard. And you want it hard because when you're checking, you know, aerospace parts and stainless and Econels, you don't want those spindles wearing out. It's pretty cool they do it all in-house here. Looks like we're going down. machine this is turning live tools double turret they say two is better than one and that's always the case when it comes to turrets and spindles that says wear glasses there's robots there's bar feeders we got the full package for automation what you're seeing here is you're seeing the thimble manufacturer that part of the micrometer that has the neural on it that rotates the spindle. The cool thing about these cells is they're all standardized. So you can see we have the robot assisted load and unload at each, at each and every single station. Have some really clean manufacturing going on here. The floors are beautiful. You can see we got lines to keep us corralled and in the right space. It's only working sometimes. Automation, robots, turning. Oh man. There's a robot. Look at that. A little shake in the part. Ha! I think it's shaking off the oil. Gotta get the oil off. Where are we going now? This is where they assemble the micrometers. You have a robot putting it all together. We have several robots working in concert right now to efficiently, seamlessly, and I think most importantly, non-stop assemble these micrometers. This process is pretty amazing to behold. Look at this assembly line go. Here you can see again, complete quality control of the manufacturing process. As I walk down the line right here, you can just see finished part after finished part after finished part. I'm not sure exactly where all these are going, but there are some accurate measurements taking place all over the world. Even the chip bins are lined up perfectly along our straight line right there. Old school machines on that side, a little robo drill over there. Trimike pieces here. It's kind of cool, all the different technologies you see here. Right here behind me, they have one of their most accurate CMMs that they make inspecting their parts. Nothing but top-notch quality leaves this manufacturing facility. I'm walking through here and I see this round tracer extreme. Seems kind of odd, but apparently it's doing three checks on this. So we're checking roundness, contour, and surface finish all in one. Got more steps. This is the part of the facility where it all comes together. All the parts have been assembled, inspected, and out the other end comes the completed micrometer. So here at Shiwa, we've been able to see some really cool things. We met some more Meisters, but probably one of the most amazing things that we've been able to be a part of here is we got to go down and be part of a green tea ceremony right here at the Mitutoyo Manufacturing Plant. Yeah, yeah, I felt honored for sure. 
before we left Shiwa, we got the pleasure of visiting a real life Buddhist temple right on the same grounds as the manufacturing plant. One thing you may not know is the founder of Mitsudoyo, Ihan Numata, actually started this company to promote Buddhist teachings and philosophy. And the way he was able to do that was to bring to you and the world, ultimately, high precision measuring instruments. So it was really cool just for us to come and spend some time and really get to see the heart and soul behind what Mitsutoyo is. Awesome. We've got to see lots of machining, lots of automation, robots, pallet systems. Very high-tech manufacturing right in the heart of the mountains of Hiroshima. It's beautiful out here. Absolutely. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Please continue to follow because we have more content coming to you. Smash that like button. Make sure you stay tuned. Here's the real outro. You camera guy's actually framing it nice. Ex camera guy. <laughs> Another camera guy back yes. there. This is how you do it. Japan. <laughs> <laughs>